my daughter is gone. You know, I can't, you just don't replace a child. After searching and hoping, tonight the family of Desiree Boss has learned that she died. What they want now in an interview with First News. Good evening, I'm Alexis Walters. We begin tonight with the story Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley first broke this morning on WKBN.com. And Nadine spoke with both Boss's family and the woman who found her. And she shares their story tonight on their top story at 6. I want my baby back. I can't get that. So I want justice. Desiree Boss's family is mourning the loss of a vibrant mother whose life was cut short. This my sister was a pistol. So whoever, <laughs> whoever did this to my sister, she gave I know she gave money. them hell. She did. I know she gave them hell. I hope they have nightmares about it every day of their lives. Just like we'll have nightmares that we'll never see her ever again. Boss's body was found in the woods off Choctaw Street Saturday morning. But they threw her out like she was trash. Just four days after her mother reported her missing to police, her family says they were worried. They hung posters with Boss's picture all throughout the city. We need justice for Desiree. Well, Anita Kraft was walking back home after dropping her neighbor's dogs back off at their home when she spotted something in the woods and ran back to her neighbor's house and told her to call 911. And I'm still sort of freaked out because you don't believe it. I mean, you know, you're walking and it's it's nice out here, the woods and stuff. I mean, it's nice, quiet. You don't expect to see somebody dead out here in the woods. According to the coroner's office, Boss died of a gunshot wound to the head. We need some justice here. Desiree was a very vibrant, she was, she was a young lady full of energy, full of love. She has a child and nobody deserves, uh, nobody deserves to be treated like this and not get justice from it. But I hope they catch who did it. I hope they go to jail for a very long time. Um, but at least her family has closure. Warren police are investigating. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.